Introducing first in the corner to my right, from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 188 pounds, pro wrestling savior, the one, J.T. Dunn. His opponent in the corner to my left from Saco, Maine. <laughs> Weighing in tonight, 360 pounds. AC, baby! Ace Romero! For the first time since March 2020, Limitless Wrestling is back. Randy Carver here with Top Shelf Troy Nelson. Welcome back, Top Shelf, and welcome back, Limitless Wrestling fans. We're here at the Yarmouth Ambets for Patience is a Virtue. Every match a mystery here tonight, and it's the return of pro wrestling savior JT Dunn going one on one with AC Baby, Ace Romero. In a state that have been starving for professional wrestling action, Randy Carver. For a night where every match is a mystery, you have something known as a sellout on your hands, and you can hear it right now, Randy. Unbelievable atmosphere in here tonight. Huge thank you goes out to everyone who supported Limitless Wrestling throughout the pandemic era of Limitless Wrestling, whether on the road, the IWTV specials, it all culminates here tonight. Fans are back here in Yarmouth, Maine. Seems like Ace Romero needs a second here. Wait a minute. And that was, that was very easy, Randy Carver Jr. If you can read the people's... Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute. Oh, Ace yeah. is going to like that. Ooh. And we're starting here with a plate of chops from JT Dunn, who stayed relatively active during the pandemic. Looks to be in the best shape of his life, if you ask me, Randy. Trying to chop down Ace Romero early, kicking at the leg. Oh! oh! oh welcome back, Limitless Wrestling, and JT Dunn's return to Maine. He just fell limp out to the floor top shelf. First time in a long time, and JT Dunn's leg is stiff and rigid like a California Redwood right now. That's not the position you want to be in, especially this early in the match, and especially with Ace Romero now exiting the ring, heading to JT on the floor. I'll tell you this, I don't know how JT Dunn could afford saliva to do his entrance music, but if he's not on the winner's side of the pay window tonight, I don't know how he's going to be able to pay the royalties. Big European Ooh. uppercut from Ace Romero, recently moved back from the Midwest here to Maine. He is, in fact, Maine's favorite wrestling son. You gotta believe he's got a chip on his shoulder. The first live Limitless show back, opening the card against a familiar foe, Randy. This is not the first time these two have touched one-on-one. -on -one. No, we've seen these two wage war in Limitless Wrestling numerous times. Back when the Limitless Wrestling Championship was first announced, these two were in the title picture. Oh, that's not good. That could be costly, especially early in this contest. Ace Romero likes to deliver big time strikes, as does JT Dunn, and nice. that's gonna be more pertinent to JT. He likes to throw that elbow. No, a hand is not an elbow, but you need to wind up. You need to muster that strength, and if you take it away from the hand, the elbow will not be as effective. Ace Romero thinking on his feet right there, letting JT duck it. Ended up creaming him with a chop, and Ace Romero just feeding off the energy in the room here tonight. How could you not? Absolutely. Look at you, you can feel it right now. Ace Romero pointing at JT Dunn. He's going to be taking a little too long. JT Dunn, eyes closed. He has no idea what's going on. Maybe he does. Out of the way, just in a nick of time. Able to scurry out of the way of an oncoming Ace Romero. Right into the steel. And you gotta stay on Ace. I mentioned it about JT, but Ace Romero also taking care of himself, getting himself into perhaps the best shape of his life in a long time, and he looks great, Randy Carver. And he's moving great oh. inside the ring as well. JT slapping, he's speaking survival, slapping it out of Ace Romero's mouth right there. Oh boy! Get out of the way, JT! Oh! Oh no! Oh, you can get whiplash with that type of attack. Randy. You see him bend around the ropes right there. Think about it, a normal shoulder tackle. Just a shoulder block from Ace Romero was a, a shunt, I'll tell you right now, and he has knocked JT down to the floor. 
referee Eric Greenleaf. A lot on his hands here to open up this card here tonight. Romero and JT, about 90% of this match thus far has been a fight on the floor, and Romero now surveying the situation. Well, grabbing hold of JT, maybe looking to head back to the ring here. Certainly not what JT Dunn is used to doing, but perhaps he needs to change up the story a little bit tonight, because right now in singles action and limitless wrestling in the near six-year history, it's Ace Romero 2, JT Dunn 0. Ace has a win in the opening contest back at no drop kicks in the living room in May of 2016 and has also beaten a bit pretenders beware the third anniversary show in September of 2018. JT Dunn, imagine if he goes 0-3 against Ace Romero. It does not bode well for any future contention at the Limitless, Limitless Wrestling Championship. It'd be tough, and that's a tough way to re-enter Limitless Wrestling as well. I mean, you got you said it earlier, JT has been active during the pandemic, arguably in the best shape of his career thus far. Yep. Oh, oh man! but just tripped right into the canvas right there from Romero, who's back to his feet! Oh my goodness! No water in the pool on the senton, though Romero crashing into the canvas. Holy see Larry Huntley gonna have to reinforce the uh, ring for the second contest if it keeps up like this. <laughs> he may have to do it. Up to call in the reinforcements. JT using the ropes, pulling himself back up to his feet in a good position here after getting out of the way. Like kind of a near-death experience right there. You can only imagine I am fortunate that I have never been underneath the Ace Romero senton. Big fight feel here. It's almost as if you put the main event on first, Randy. This is only the first contest. We got a full card tonight. We got a lot coming up. Back elbow there from JT Dunn, as you said earlier. Loves to utilize those elbows, and maybe he's been doing some strength training in his off time. Tried to hoist oh. Romero up, but a European uppercut right on the money. I don't really believe I know what JT Dunn was thinking. JT Dunn is a technician. You have to believe that if he thought he could do it, he'd go for it. He must Does think he think he, can do, he can do it tonight, I suppose, of all times? I mean, the adrenaline must be kicking in. It's an electric atmosphere here in Yarmouth. Ace Romero looking to charge once again. JT able to kick out the no. leg and pumps that right into the side of the head. JT, don't even tell. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. Vicious German suplex. I now believe maybe JT Dunn could get Ace Romero up. Flex in the pipes here, top shelf. Here comes JT. Pulls through. Catches him. Pulled Nelson position from Ace Romero. Full Nelson suplex! And what strength from Romero taking him directly overhead. A full rotation for Dunn! And call your dentist! And I'm noticing it right away. Cardiovascular wise, Ace Romero is immediately back up. Yikes. This is the He's quickest we've ever down. seen, but JT Dunn just a little bit quicker there. Great connection, leaped right into it. Ace Romero didn't see it coming. Now both competitors down our opening contest here. Patience is a virtue. The first live Limitless Wrestling show in over a year's time here in Yarmouth, Maine. And you gotta believe the both wrestlers you're hoping you're gonna get up before a count of 10. I can see that Eric Greenleaf giving him a little extra time, checking on both of them. You don't wanna have to throw out the very first contest back, Randy. And good on Eric Greenleaf for taking that time, giving him a couple seconds here. To they get the wherewithal. Sure they're still coherent. Well, with that said, they're at a count of just about six. Six from Eric Greenleaf. If this does reach ten, then that will be it, Randy. JT once again heading to the ropes, trying to pull himself back to a vertical base. Looks like he's ahead of Ace Romero here. Back up on his feet. Ace Romero back up to his two feet as well. And Ace's finally st oh, a little bit worse for the wear. Looking to start starting to show it a little bit, Randy. Oh, JT done with a big boot. Almost goaded him into the corner right there. Ace Romero, ooh! Oh, almost! He's teetering! For every elbow JT throws, he throws a mean pump kick. If he can get a little bit of steam behind it, that could be a knockout as well. Oh, there it is! Jeez. And here come these punishing elbows. So much mustard behind everyone. JT aiming oh. right for the jaw, but AC Baby doesn't miss. Ace Romero throws a big one. Overhand chop from JT Dunn. Ace Romero. Starting to take a little bit more time, Randy. I don't know if you're noticing. He may have uh, used up all the gasoline in the tank. There's definitely something behind those strikes, but not as quick as it once was. Well, there's two in a row right there. Oh, and he wants oh. more. Big T, quick oh. kick combination and wrapped around with that one. Of a windmill style kick from JT Dunn. Looking for that death by elbow. Greenleaf, Greenleaf gets it. Not quite down yet, thank goodness. Looked like JT caught him right on the bridge of the nose right there. Everybody's down. Nate Speckman's gonna have a long night if Eric Greenleaf goes down, that's all I'm saying. Ace Romero trying to get his hometown crowd. We are not too far from Sacco. 
Sacco. Oh, that's Sacco. Sacco River. Give it a little H in there, even though it's not there. Sacco River. That's the Haverhill accent in me. Ace Romero. Oh! What did I tell you, Randy? Oh, he was feeling it. He connects. That's got to be it. One, take it. two, three. Oh, no. Just in time, AC Baby. Able to get the shoulder off the canvas. JT Dunn dumbfounded. I'm going to go out on a limb right now, Randy Carver. JT Dunn reverses the curse here tonight and picks up his first singles victory against Ace Romero here at Limitless Wrestling. Oh, how can you come back from that, being the size of Ace Romero hitting that hard? I mean, that'd be huge for JT Dunn. What a way to make your return. And you got to believe, if he can notch this victory right here with where he left off in Limitless Wrestling, he's got to be in the title picture with a big win here tonight. Like I said, you don't want to go 0-3 against anybody, even if it's spread out over the course of six or so years. But JT Dunn does have something to fight for, as does Ace Romero. I mean, it's a different JT Dunn we've talked about all night. He's coming in here tonight and who faced Ace Romero those previous two times. And Romero throwing verbal bombs now at Dunn. Ugh. Big shot from JT Dunn and another. And again, like I said, JT Dunn still firing on all cylinders. They're coming in quick still, this late in the contest. And JT Dunn rattles some teeth of Ace Romero. Trying to support himself up by hit both hands on the knees. And another elbow. Oh. Oh, and Ace is looking a little bit worse for the wear now. And that was dangerous positioning right to the back of the head. Romero spilling out of the ring, and look at Dunn. JT Dunn taking this time to catch his breath, but he's got to stay on Ace. Do I think not he's give got him a chance. Up sleeve here. Dunn! Oh, oh no! no! European uppercut! JT Dunn looking for the tope over the top, and he gets Holy caught, shit. Randy. He got Holy caught! Shit. Ace Romero just absolutely thinking on his feet. The anticipation on another level right there. JT Dunn was so close to nailing Romero, and he gets that arm up, cleaning his block on the way down. Each reversal of fortune so far has me second-guessing myself. <laughs> After that Death Valley driver to the corner of Ace Romero, and it sounds weird to hear Death Valley driver in the corner too. Romero. I don't know if you've heard that I, very much. I don't think you have, and that's why I went ahead with JT Dunn, but he's resilient as usual. Oh! oh El Terte! And catches him. El Terte, that cutter from JT Dunn rolling, catching Ace Romero off guard. Yo, JT's going to do this. Oh, catches him again. Beautiful kick. Each one landing. Precision on point. He's got him squared up. Oh, Romero! Oh. Slapping the taste out of his mouth. You said it. With this package pile driver, perhaps. And he crunches him. Implanted into the ring. One, One two, two, three. That's it. Three and oh against JT Dunn. Keith Romero's done it again. It's C-Baby. It's Romero.